How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released another software update to iOS 16, iOS 16.4.1, which was just released 11 days after iOS 16.4. It was kind of a surprise software update, so let's talk about everything that you need to know about iOS 16.4.1. So all of the changes, new features, bug fixes, security updates, which is the most important part of this software update. And of course, let's also talk about performance and battery life as I always do here on my videos. So without further ado, let's begin. So we've had some changes here in the new emoji. So as you know, iOS 16.4 introduced a few new emoji, including the pushing hands, as you can see right here, like pushing left and pushing right. And before in 16.4, uh, they weren't having any skin tone variation, so they were only yellow. But now, in 16.4.1, you have your typical skin tone variation, just like you have on, your, on all your other emoji. We've also had some changes in Siri, because sometimes Siri just wasn't replying. It wasn't replying at all, so problems with Siri, and this is so common and so often, it seems like we see this all the time. And to be honest, every time I think about Siri, I just think about how far behind Siri is compared to the other voice assistant, like Alexa and Google Assistant, and even other AI technology like ChatGPT, for example. It just seems like Siri is stuck in 2018. Now let's talk about the most important part, the core of the software update, which is the security updates. So as you can see here, I'm on Apple support on security content for iOS 16.4.1 and iPadOS 16.4.1. And the thing is, there were actually two very important vulnerabilities that were discovered back in iOS 16.4 that Apple really, really needed to release this update to fix and patch. And those two vulnerabilities had to do with IO Surface Accelerator and WebKit as well. And this is pretty technical and boring to be honest, but I'm gonna sum it up for you. So the vulnerability pretty much means that, as you can see here, an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Uh, so if you don't really know what kernel is, is the core of an operating system. So it's the core of iOS. And it means that if you can actually execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, it means that you can run code in an unrestricted privileged mode, meaning that you can pretty much do whatever you want in the system level, like a third party app can do that. Can you imagine? So this is extremely problematic, serious, and dangerous, and this is actually a very critical problem, okay? So that's why Apple just ran to actually introduce iOS 16.4.1 to fix and patch this problem, which is now patched as soon as you update. I also wanna talk about three problems with three different apps that are just so annoying and everybody is talking about. One of them have to do, of course, with the weather app, and the other two with WhatsApp and Instagram. So the weather app, and you have probably seen this, was down uh, for a few days actually, and it's back for most people, but for some, it's still not working. It's gonna say no data here, it just won't load at all, right? And the thing is, this has nothing to do with a software update. This was actually an internal server from Apple that had a problem, so then they are able to fix this without a software update. So um, if you still have problems with this, just wait, it'll come back independently from a software update, okay? On top of that, we have WhatsApp and Instagram, and WhatsApp had many issues uh, for many users while trying to send in an audio message or maybe selecting photos, uh, and also Instagram has no sound. I made a separate video on this. So then those two problems actually don't really have a lot to do with Apple because those two apps are in fact not compatible with the latest versions of iOS and the responsible for fixing this problem is actually Meta, so Facebook. So Facebook has to fix it, not really Apple. So we will see a permanent fix on WhatsApp and Instagram as soon as they are updated and they patch it. So my recommendation here for having problems is Keep updating WhatsApp, Instagram, and all your apps as soon as you see those uh, updates available, and then it'll fix the problem. And last
last but not least, of course, let's talk about performance and battery. And this is really easy because they weren't affected by this software update. The idea of this software update, as I mentioned, is to fix the security issues and those two very simple bugs there. So performance, battery, unaffected, they won't change. Apple didn't work on them on this software update. So don't expect any changes for good or for bad, All right? So that's it. Thanks for watching another iOS software update video right here on Denabal Tech. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.